This is a special edition of NBC5 News. Today marks four years since the destructive Almeda fire scorched through the Rogue Valley. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for NBC5 News. I'm Maximus Osborne. The fire that blazed from Ashland to southern Medford in 2020 resulted in the deaths of three people and displaced thousands. And we spoke to the Jackson County Community Long-Term Recovery Group to hear about its impacts still felt today. That's going to be our top story tonight. The fire changed the trajectory of many lives. The experiences of 2020 with both the pandemic and wildfires brought higher levels of collaboration with social service partners in helping those affected. A critical aspect for families recovering and figuring a way to move forward is finding community. But while some survivors were able to get back on their feet, others are still left feeling the destruction it caused them physically, mentally, and emotionally. You have this whole spectrum of people who from all outward appearances have recovered, but may still be feeling the impacts years later of that loss to folks who are still not recovered and are still feeling that impact of loss. The road to recovery has been a long roller coaster for some families, but Clay says survivor victims can still reach out to different organizations for any help that they need and that the community will be behind them, supporting them every step of the way. And despite it being the most devastating disaster in county history, law enforcement is still looking for answers to just how the Almeda fire started. While the investigation is ongoing, there, is, there are no significant developments. In fact, nothing of consequence has happened in the investigation in the past year plus. Before containment, the fire destroyed nearly 2,500 structures, damaged 134 more, and, as I said earlier, claimed three lives. Ashland Fire and Rescue, along with the Oregon State Police Arson Unit and the State Fire Marshal's Office, determined it was, the, or rather, the fire was of human origin. Local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies immediately started working the largest criminal investigation in county history. Ashland Police and the Jackson County Sheriff's Office told us that 29 investigators from several agencies have served nine search warrants and inter interviewed 154 people spanning eight counties in four different states, but they're nowhere close to an arrest. If you have any information on the start of the fire, please contact Ashland Police.